But if you close your eyes Hey guys, it's Riley from pectuspt.com. Welcome to today's video. So if you want to know whether to do the dumbbell press or the bench press for fixing pectus, then this is the video for you. And I'm just going to say straight off the bat, both are great, but if I had to choose one, it would be the dumbbell press. The reason for this is dumbbell pressing will enable you to notice whether you've got one arm or one chest that's weaker than the other. And this is particularly pertinent if you have pectus because often people have an asymmetrical case of pectus where they're quite imbalanced and one chest can be a lot smaller or affected more by the pectus and by dumbbell pressing what we can do is we can do unilateral work so we do one side at a time and that way we can start to even out that imbalance and make your pectus look better your chest look more symmetrical and just your body look better in general so now I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how to do the dumbbell press normally and then also how to do it unilaterally if you want to isolate one side so just sit on the bench then we lie back and from here we want to push the chest out chest up and we're going to try Giving the wrist as straight as possible, controlling the weight, mind muscle connection with the chest, and that's the dumbbell press. Then if you want to do it unilaterally, do so one, one hand and just drop it up. So you can do it like this, it's going to work the core and your obliques as well to stabilize yourself. Do like 10 reps on one arm, 10 reps on the other. Or to do it unilaterally, you keep one arm up, do one side, and then do the other side. If you have an asymmetrical case of pectus and you do notice that one side is weaker, then start with that side and make sure you only do the amount of reps on the other side that you did with that side so it becomes more even. So there you go guys, that's the dumbbell press. I still recommend doing the dumbbell press and the bench press and mixing it up. What I'd recommend is say do like an eight week block of dumbbell pressing and progressing on that movement and focusing on that and trying to get stronger each week or fortnight depending on if you're a beginner or more advanced. And then after that eight week block, maybe do an eight week block of bench press and getting better on that. Alternatively, if you're a more advanced lifter, then I'd recommend probably doing two pressing movements in your workouts, in your chest workouts. So you might want to do an incline movement and a flat, or a flat and a decline, or a decline and an incline. And say so what I do is like, I'll do like a flat bench press for like five sets by five reps. And then I'll do incline dumbbell press for like four sets by eight reps. And yeah, you just mix those variables up, mix your rep ranges up, mix your sets up, and do flat, incline, decline, and dumbbell and barbell. Mix it up, but yeah. If you have to choose one, it'll be the dumbbell press. Both are great. And yeah, that's the video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like. Remember to subscribe to my channel. All future Pectus related videos are gonna be posted here. If you're interested in online coaching, I have an online coaching service, and that way I'll be able to design a program for you so you can best transform your body and overcome your case of pectus through exercise without surgery. So the link to that will be in the bio. And yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for the support. Riley's workout program has changed my life in many aspects. Not only do I have more strength, but I have more confidence as well. If you want to do the same, I recommend signing up as soon as possible.